All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for being here. This is the shamelessly named Adam Claremont podcast, and I'm your host, Adam Claremont. Here, we're discussing starting and growing a career, increasing your revenue, helping to create a positive work-life balance, and giving back and sharing to those who are still trying to figure it all out. And honestly, aren't we all just trying to figure it all out, you know? All of this within the audio and creative industry. But before we begin our conversation, I'd like to offer you a free gift. I've put together a list of tips and tricks that have helped me through my career to be more productive and more efficient with my time. I know if you put these tips that I laid out for you into practice, you'll benefit a whole lot. I've benefited, and now I want to share it with you. So please go to adamclaremont.com slash workflow, pick it up for free. And lastly, please help support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, ring the bell. It really goes a long way to help me reach more people and provide more free content. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for all your support. Now on to the good stuff. Let's get to our guest. Theory has written and produced songs for artists in the Philippines, Italy, Romania, and Moldova, such as Filipino sensation Rap Salazar with the song Now or Never. He won the BET Award for Most Inspirational Music Video for an Independent Artist with his video for his song Change, and I definitely want to hear more about that. He won the Best Music Video at the Las Vegas, Garden State, and Nevada Film Festivals for We'll All Be Alright, which has just shy of 350,000 views on YouTube. He's also one of the most generous individuals out there with his time, and there's so much more to add, but Theory... Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, man. I'm I'm glad to be here, Adam. This is this is great. You know, I mean, circumstances being, um, it is a pleasure that we at least have the power to still connect. Because if we didn't, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Going out of our mind. I know. <laughs> I know. I've been stuck in a bedroom for the past uh, two months, working out of a bedroom, my oh. guest bedroom, my house. Because who needs those? So yeah. I need to get out and see people. <laughs> this is the best yeah. I can do. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. Yeah, man. Understandable. I'm, g- I'm glad to see you. Understandable. So let's get into it. You know, something I picked up really quickly after meeting you, mm-hmm. and it's really uh, exemplified by you know the description I just gave and some of your accolades. Okay, you are somebody who uh, epitomizes the ten thousand foot view, the big mm-hmm. picture, you know, like from your lyrics to your concept, to the music, mm-hmm. to the videos, publicity, you've all got it working mm-hmm. for you and you've all got it working together. It seems like that's just part of what you do. Some people really got to work mm-hmm. at that and they don't even really understand that it all needs to be integrated and strategic and work together to really like elevate a career and right. propel things forward. So you want right. to talk about that and like how you view projects in that way? Yeah. Um, you know, for for any artist that has a vision, um, we always like to to map it out. And when I have an idea that I want to execute on, I literally just kind of see things first on my scale of just my artistry, you know, my my talents, putting it all together. It's kind of like just like making you know, a, a meal, you know, <laughs> you hear the terms, you're in the studio c- cooking up a yeah. track, you know, so I get all the ingredients, you know, what, what's, what's the part that is at least going to visually captivate? What's the part that is going to be something that hooks people continuously to it? Um, and so that, that can be, you know, the, the, the hard spice and then that, that, cliffhanger part in it so i get all that together all those elements and i just cook them and then after i have a great scope of what i'm doing i look at it from an other people's perspective how are they viewing that because you know when you make something and you taste it you know how it tastes to you but what are people gonna right. say about it when they taste it? Yeah. You know, what will they feel that is too, you know, too salty? Will they feel it's too too spicy? Is it too bland? So I I, I have to always kind of like test things out. And I like to test things out with people who I know don't necessarily um communicate with me, meaning like I don't really 
basically share much of my work with them. And I, and I let them hear it because I know I'm going to get more of an honest f- feedback instead of somebody who might patronize me to yeah. say like, Oh, I love it. It's great. Keep, keep doing your thing. And I'm not really getting like good, good, honest feedback because that to me, I think just kind of uh, makes my course very stale. Yeah. Friends so and family I, I, who are like, trying I, to lift yeah, you up, right? Exactly. But they mean well, but exactly. not exactly <laughs> what you're looking for, right? Yeah. Exactly. So I, I, I throw it, I throw it right into the pit, man. I throw it into the pit of people who says like, this is, this is, this is great. Or I don't like this part. I don't like this part. Well, tell me why you don't like that part. What, what's, what's, what's wrong with I, I would do this. And if I feel that it, that it's something that I could take into, you know, reconstruct or, um, even, you know, just can it completely, like I'll, I'll do it. And, and that's just really my method. Like, so my method is I've learned not to just always do it my way. I, I've, I've learned to look at other people's, um, take on things. And by doing that, I think that I've learned a, a, a niche on making things that's a little bit more universal mm. than something that is just like only I can understand. Cause I feel for instance, like, and I'm not, I'm not degrading um, their talents because I think people who are very technical at things are very brilliant. Like they're used for a reason, but I always use this analogy when you sit with someone from like, uh, maybe like a, a, a college of music, they look at the technicalities like so intricately, like, like, like it, it is, it is to the T. Um, yeah. And then you take someone who just has a natural you know, knack for it on writing a song or putting a project together. And they're just seeing, you know, well, this works or maybe this doesn't work, but this works. If, if you take all the technicalities out of it, you, you actually can see something that really can be for the, the natural consumer because natural consumers have a different psychology when they absorb projects than somebody who's looking at it from the most, you know, technical standpoint, a microscopic and level. I'm glad. Yes. I'm glad you said that because that's that's a struggle. I know I have that struggle. I know a lot of people mm-hmm. have that struggle. Uh huh. You uh-huh. know, it's it's that concept of like, well, that's not done right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. taught and this, right? Yeah. And yeah. then, and, like, and, and instead of like thinking about the formula, right? You, it's like, you, you, what about the hairs on your arm? <laughs> you know. Like, are yeah. you, are you starting to well up a little bit, you know? Like yeah, for, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's hard. And Hey, I'm, I'm an engineer, you know, I make music so too, but I'm an engineer. Is, is that's important. what people are paying yeah. me for. But like, that's, that hits home. Like when you say that, cause that's really a struggle for me, I know. And I, I work on, I, I do do the, the, the hair, the hair mm-hmm. in my arm thing. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. ask mm-hmm. for another take after that, even if there was something wrong, like I've learned that, but like, there's, there's a lot of, that's tough. You yeah, know, and that, that and, and <laughs> you bringing that point up is so so important on understanding the balance. And it, I, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I, I had this like you know headstrong the very first time I started creating. Um, but I've learned over time of how important it is to have that balance. So when I used the 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 natural ability to absorb styles sounds and in, in, in ways of formatting songs, I also used those who were very, very detailed and understood the technicalities because that natural form has a technical way of being executed. So then when mm. you actually join forces together, you start to see things that's like, wow, this is really interesting. So it kind of it, like a movie, like you see content in movies that, you know, people just use a natural way of uh, like commentary or, or or comedic value, but there's technical ways of how they place them in there. So, well, you're you like those... a sommelier or whatever those wine people are called. Then, if we're yeah. using the food analogy, because the, the the pairings that you've put together for some of your projects, mm-hmm. I mean, they're just working. You know, so yeah, that's thanks. you, you yeah, just nailed it's... it. You know, what I mean, between like the creative, the technical, I mean, you're getting all these awards for your videos. Um, it's yeah. You know, I mean, that doesn't was, that doesn't come from one person, right? No, so no. You're, and yeah, that, you've, and, you've and, figured and out like selecting is, people for their strengths. That's great. Yes, and you, because I mean, even looking looking at it, you know, someone like yourself, because you remind me of my guy that I work with in California, who is the technical guy. He's 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 not an engineer, but he thinks like one. 
you oh, know yeah. um and and that word is actually what it is like it's self explanatory an engineer you know an engineer is not just somebody who is just sitting behind hitting buttons saying are you ready to record are you ready for me to stop yeah that sounded good okay let's take that back all right you want me to keep going no an engineer is somebody who actually it does what what happens in this world built building constructing developing like like every skyscraper you see to the to to its natural mathematic form is from an engineer like that is what engineers are about and the engineers in this industry are those who are constructing all those ideas together so when i come up with these ideas and i say i want to do this i want to do that he knows how to execute those ideas that i have because his engineering qualities for 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 the visualization of it he he knows like those technical standpoints and he knows it better than i do like i don't understand half of that stuff <laughs> i look at it and it, it, it looks it literally looks like a mathematic equation to nobody me. So does. i'm like yeah <laughs> and and i and i and that's why i give them so much credit you know um but he also understands that that's what he's so good at because if he was put into the pool to just let off kind of that natural idea and just and just go with the flow he's going to overthink it and if he overthinks it it to me i feel it just gets lost in the sauce and i look at it from a consumer standpoint of how um a child can automatically connect to what I'm doing without me thinking so hard on it. So yeah. like it, it, it's a it's a really really cool balance once you you start getting to the flow of it. Well, it's cool if if you are comfortable, and if you're not comfortable, get comfortable because it's yeah. super important. If you're comfortable working with other people, I'm not mm -hmm. saying you the 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 royal we. We yeah, need to get yeah. comfortable working with people because it's yeah. also like thinking about divvying up responsibilities, and you've got your right brain and your left brain. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and the things you're talking about are that's two different sides of your brain. Yeah. So when you don't have to keep yeah. on bouncing back and forth, even within yourself, if you got somebody else who can just be like, all right, you stay, you, you do your mm -hmm. thing, and I know you do it awesome. We've I've got the faith. I trust you completely. Like I I love what yeah. you do. Just yeah, do what yeah. you do. I'm gonna do what I do, and that's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it seems exactly. like that's it, kind of the it, way I, I feel like you work. You've got you've you've developed these teams like a literal worldwide network mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> over over your career of these people. And it sounds mm -hmm. like you kind of go back to these people time and time again because of that that momentum you've created, that bond you've created, the trust, yes. you know? Yes, and the absolutely. respect really at the end of the day when you get it all absolutely. together and it works out. Like yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. I mean even on you know the local scale um, you know, in the in the capital region, um, you know, with 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 a, a great potential rising artist um, as uh, you know Vince, um, yeah, Vince Palmer, yeah, yeah, who has done you know just wonderful work in your studio. Um, he 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 saw that how he puts things together. He he was having just you know these overthinking um, ways of really really trying to make things just you know so perfect and i said it's 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 not that it you know it cannot be perfect but me looking at it from a different angle for him and and then him learning how to have that balance he started to realize how his sound you know elevated and 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 developed into a, a new realm and and I, I tell him you know honestly I, I and which i say to a lot of artists it, it's not that I made you a better artist, you know, like, like people think like, oh, you know, once they met you, you changed him, you made him better. Like, no, he was always that type of artist. It's just that I made him better at understanding what he's capable of. That's what I did. Are you, are you familiar with the 80, 20 rule? I hear it a lot. So All yes, right. I am. So, I, yeah. I so, you know, that rule, basically the idea, the concept behind it is 20% of your work accounts for 80% of your success. Mm -hmm. You know, like everybody's always saying work, 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 work. And, you know, it's basically, basically what it's saying is like boil down to the nuts and bolts, become efficient because there's very little of what you're actually putting effort into that mm -hmm. is really going to account for a lot of your success. And so much of that other stuff, it keeps you busy, but mm -hmm. it's not necessarily productive or moving you forward. 
And yes. that, that's, that's kind of what it sounds like, like what you're talking about. And you, you, mm-hmm. know, you just mm-hmm. mentioned about like being like perfect and mm-hmm. nitpicking. And this isn't talking about Vince specifically. This is a million people. And this mm-hmm. is anybody, mm-hmm. everybody. You know, mm-hmm. we're always looking for the next detail that makes us a little mm-hmm. better. Yes. And it's so hard to find that line. And I don't really know where it is because in a lot of respects, the little details are, you know, they add up, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, you know, it's changing a lyric here. It's changing a note there. Yeah. You know, for the engineers, it's just like a DB here, a DB there. Yeah. Times a thousand. But like, I wonder if we think about this much because I do like, I mean, if you think about that 80, 20 rule, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, like you said, like with Vince, like it was always there and now it's just sort of like, it's just working a little bit better because the focus, I think you're talking about mm-hmm. the focus is, mm-hmm. is um, more focused, but it's getting away from some of those things that maybe we don't need to spend as much time on. But yeah. it's, it, so I, I struggle with that. I think a lot of people struggle with it because yeah, you, the details, you know, they add up, they, they, they mm-hmm. become valuable, but mm-hmm. how much more effort does it take for all those little details and how much more value are they really bringing? You're talking about like, okay, yeah. well, to me, it tastes better, mm-hmm. but I'm only one consumer, <laughs> right? So like all those details, does it really translate, you know? Yep. And like, you know, when to say when, that's like another thing with the, you know, writing a song, you mm-hmm. know, it's like, you know, I'm sure you've gone through this. It's like, man, okay, you get a mix revision or you go through a lyric or you hear a vocal take and it's like, well, let me just do 50 more. Yeah. Well, I mean, is 50 <laughs> really better than number three? Yeah. You know, like, and maybe yeah. it is, but how much time did it take you to get there? And how much more could you have done in that time? Yeah. Than maybe that, uh, another song or two. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I don't have an answer. It's just one of those things I think about. And I don't know if you've thought about that much or like how you've sort of oh, dealt with that. But like, I, I know you must have dealt with it because everybody yeah. does, but. It's hard, man, because you can spend forever in a studio on a song to get it "quote unquote" perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. Yeah. It's just and I in have that a moment. I have a, maybe you I got it perfect rule, for a, you then yeah. at that second. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, know? because my my rule, um, and I don't know how others do it or feel about it, but I am very, very, very um, serious about not re-recording things i'm very serious about that like like if i do a song and someone says oh you should redo this um it might it, it may just get canned completely do you, do you mean uh like you've got you finished the recording and they're saying redo the whole recording or do you mean like uh do, do a new take um i i would say do a, a whole new recording so like if, yeah, if i already went through the song and and we're sitting on it and sitting on it and then they say oh just just re-record the song unless it's taking a completely different direction um i won't redo it to have a newer feeling because now i, I feel like the hunger and the and the desire has has just been dwindled that's a good and point. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't go back to I it. Fully now. relate then, to that and idea. Then, and then you over. Now I'm overthinking it mm-hmm. of how I want to make it perfect. Because once once you put yourself into trying to make a song perfect, you are missing the point of how to execute a perfect song. Um, I think a perfect song comes from being the perfect you. So when you understand who you are as the artist who is doing the song, the song is going to naturally come out perfect. But when you think of trying to make a song perfect, you are missing who you are and you're paying more attention to how people are going to hear the song. And that's why artists who resonate better than other artists are when people to the sound because they hear the natural execution in the track. I never look at songs anymore trying to make perfect songs because they don't work. And if yeah. and if it works for somebody else, kudos. I'm glad. I don't know how you do it. Keep <laughs> doing it if that's what you do. But until you become the perfect you, I don't see a perfect song because I hear songs that are that are well executed, but I'm not convinced because I can tell that artist tried to make you like this song. Mm. And that to me is just somebody strolling into a place and they want your attention instead of being who they are and and they catch your attention. Yeah. You see? So if you're if you're literally 
overdoing sounds and trying to really, really get my attention on it, I could tell that you're just trying way too hard. And, and um, you've already lost me on like maybe like the fifth bar. You've lost me. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like it's it's funny. I mean, and it's so hard for people to sort of walk away from something that just isn't working because like, that's my baby. You yeah. know, if it's a whole song, yeah. even if it's a lyric or a verse, you know, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Or, or, you know, um, tell me if you run into this one, like, you know, you, you, you get, a you're starting a new track and, and your, mm-hmm. your vocalist does a scratch vocal for you just to get some things mm-hmm. down and you're working on the song, mm-hmm. you're working on the song. And then that artist goes back in the booth and starts, you know, belting out mm-hmm. every vocal, every lyric. Mm-hmm. And then, uh. You know, there, there's a line in there that just isn't as good as that scratch. But th- they want to do another take, and they want to do another take mm-hmm. and get it better and better mm-hmm. because that was just that was scratch. I wasn't I wasn't even trying. That was my scratch. Let's just let's just keep going. Let's keep going. It's yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. You forget like this isn't like somebody you're competing with. That was you that sang it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Apply, to just use that. Like if it was that good, who who cares? If it, that makes. It, you should still be happy. That's you. Like, but like, it's like, they're just so close, you know, it's like, or, or on the flip side, it's like, you start to like, again, you start to boil that thing down to like just the, the essence of the song. And sometimes mm-hmm. like a line's got to go in your lyric or a verse sometimes, a whole verse sometimes has to go. Yeah. It doesn't mean that line or that verse was bad or wrong, mm-hmm. but the song is better as a whole without it. And it's like, it's like you're just yeah. like digging into their heart sometimes. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, but it's, it's hard. That, to, you just got to like the, remember the, the, I and the yeah. prize. It's the long view, right? It's like, it's not like you did best. something wrong, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Ideas mm-hmm. are always good, but that's hard, man. <laughs> it is. It is, man. And, and so. it's a, it's a science that we, that we are in love with complaining about. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but but we are but we are in what love problems we have? With, yeah, with the process, <laughs> we're, we're we're so in love with the process to complain about it as much as we do. But the process still is something we love because we continuously do it. You know, yeah. um, I mean, you know, it's 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 it, it is. I, I think every artist who is passionate. And when I say artists, I, I I mean from all from all scales of music. Whether you are, are a creator on lyrics and melodies, whether you are an engineer or producer, or even someone who is a, a visual director, um, you know, if if it was if it was taken in the form of of like a of a relationship, people would actually feel like you understand what it means because anyone can say, if you're in love with me as much as you're in love with your music, everything would be perfect (laughs) because, because you never give up on that. And that continuously (laughs) pounds you every day and you still work hard at it, but you don't sacrifice for me, but you sacrifice for music. Yeah, I'm kidding. So, (laughs) (laughs) you know, like, I don't know what you mean, man. I don't know what you mean. (laughs) <laughs> message, message, <laughs> like so. <Yeah. laughs> you know, it's like, oh, we we knew theory was gonna come here and talk about some music, but yeah. you getting deep now. <laughs> you know, got a homeboy over here watching yeah. a podcast with his girl. Let's add, uh, she looking like yeah, mm-hmm. relationship counselor. Yeah, you, <laughs> you hear what theory's talking about, right? <laughs> so, I mean, and it, it it's that is really the, the the gist of it. Like, we love to complain about it, but we are in love with it, man. We yeah. are. Well, so I, I kind of want to go back to the, the collaboration idea. Uh-huh. So, I mean, and you kind of touched on this, but do you, and I know you've got like a tight core people that you like to work with. Yes. But yes. if someone else is coming in, like, what are you, like for, for someone who's listening, okay. what are some of the traits that you're looking for in a collaborator? Someone who can really add to the project, the party, because it's got to be a mm-hmm. good time. Mm-hmm. You know, the mood, you know, just, mm-hmm. you know, you don't want somebody who's like up and down, up and down. We need somebody mm-hmm. who can like, you know, just count on to be sort of even yeah. feel with, with their emotions. Yeah. You know, what, what do you think are good things that you specifically are looking for in people? Um, first off, you know, to, to vibe with someone who I'm collaborating with, like they, they, they have to have like interests and in just the process. Um, someone who understands the process of, of creating something and really having that excited, you know, feeling on making something from the ground up. Um, you know, I, I really look for 
someone who is willing to dig into themselves as the artist and not necessarily just try to impress, but just really just be comfortable with themselves. Like when, when I, when I can sense the comfortability in the artist and they're bringing, you know, their side to it and I'm bringing my side to it, to me that that's just the, the synergy Mm. of just like, you know, different styles, different tastes, you know, and once again, thro- throwing in those analogies, um, you know, um, chicken is chicken, you know, um, that, I mean, that, that, like, like, is I it know, all right? food He's with like, you? Where, 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 where is Terry going with this? Is he a chef? <laughs> um, so, but the way you season it is how it's going to taste, you know, and you could, you could literally season it with so many different things that gives it a different taste in so many other cultures, mm. you know? Um, and, 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 and that's, and that's the thing. So I always look at it like, how are we going to flavor this? And you know, what ingredients are you throwing on it? What ingredients am I throwing on it? That's going to give it that, you know, that different taste. Mm. Um, and because if someone really isn't, you know, in it, like I'm in it, um, it's just going to feel like I'm just kind of like trying to carry the load of the song and the person is just, they're just going with the flow. And I don't feel like we're, we're really like going at it together. Cause I, I just love that joint venture where we're both super excited about the track. Cause that's going to make me, um, bring out more than what, than what I have and, and vice versa. That's just going to have the other artists bring yeah, out cool. more than what Feeding they have. The energy. Yeah, and 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 just and just really understand that. Um, I mean, even if you know, and if it's healthy competition, I'm more for that. I I, I love I love a, a a healthy competition where it's like you know I'm gonna make sure that I'm the best on this track, and you know what, go for it because I know you're paying attention to yourself, mm. and. If I look at it from my end, I'm going to make sure that I'm the best on the track, then then so be it. So then we both get on it, and then the people are going to be like, I don't know who to say is the best because they both were amazing on this song. Like, yeah. and that's the thing. It's like, and 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 I I love listening to collaborations on on other artists because I like when they stay in their lane of who they are because it really does coincide the different elements. Um, you know, sometimes like you can just tell when things were forced. Yeah, um, no kidding. It, 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 it happens. It happens a lot. And there's I mean, so like many, this, oh, there's yeah. so many like duos or, or duos, duets right now on the radio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're just very popular, that concept. And some of them yeah. are just like, you could, you could swap out both sides of the artist mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with anybody and it would just be mm-hmm. like the same thing sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, you know, but, 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 and, and that's the thing, like, like I, cause I pay attention to that and, and I take that into consideration of how I see collaborations go. So when you take Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson yeah, and, and, <laughs> and you, you have say, say, you know, like they, they, they are in their lane. Paul McCartney is who he is. Michael Jackson is who he is. And then, you know, he, Paul McCartney throws in that very smoothness and he, he's, he's like really, really like, you know, capturing his audience and his vibe. And then boom, a lightning strike, Michael jumps in (laughs) and, and he changes the, the tempo, you know, of, of, of the track, like that, that right there is, is, is amazing. So I, I like that. Like I, I like those different dynamics when I, I work with artists um and they 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 throw their flavor on it, I throw my flavor on it, and then we just combine that together. So if I find that, oh man, I, I'm I'm collaborating all day and I and I'll I'll call that artist again, you know, and cool. hopefully do more and more projects. Mm. So tell me how it came to be uh creating the video change. And you know okay. you want so you won this BET award most inspirational music video for an independent artist. Yes, I mean yes. I know I know you're a, a great dude as a person. Mm-hmm. You know you're a positive guy. You know you help out a lot. You're really generous. So like I, I have a feeling that that award maybe meant a little bit more to you. That just sounds awesome. Can you talk yes. about what that whole thing was? Yeah. So um, it was you know um, uh, a producer. Um, his name was Draws Drawzilla. And um, Slim, 
um, two producers that let me hear the track and it just really, really, really hit me on just, you know, self-explanatory, the title change, um, it's got to come and which was a, a rendition off of, um, one of my favorite artists, Sam Cook. Mm. And, um, as I was listening to it, I, I just, I, I jumped right in it. I jumped right in it and just started writing. But like, so what I was writing about was like talking about the struggles of an artist, like, like what we go through, you know? Um, and, and, and just the way it starts off, like, like the first line, it says in the world of hunger, I see my problems starving, you know? Mm. Um, and, and then it talks about like how to like, how you're balancing your relationship. It's talking about how people aren't taking you seriously and you're putting your blood, sweat and tears into projects and, and people are literally just taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. Um, you putting out projects and people want more of you to, con to keep on putting out, but they don't want to put in, you know, and, and so I'm saying there's gotta be a change, but then there's a flip side to it because not only does it have to be a change for a better life, I have to make change, which is making money. Mm -hmm. I got to put change in my pocket, you know, because like money, is something to keep me self-sufficient for what I'm doing. Like you cannot expect me to continuously make projects and create magic if you can't help me fund what I fund myself. Like, yeah. like th there's, there's got to be a, a give and take here. Mm -hmm. And so that connected to a lot of people who just want to change their life. And it connected to a lot of artists who understood those struggles. Mm. And, and so when the video was shot by uh, my very good friend, Yarek, Yarek Zabzinski, um, he just had uh, all these really cool ideas. And we were at a, at a friend's house. His name is Elion. And we shot it in his kitchen. And, and we had, you know, like a, a girl and a kid. And I was more of the narrator um, in, the, in the story because like it was capturing a woman and her child and she's trying to pay bills and then it captured another guy who got into the wrong crowd and he realized that his life was taking the wrong turn so he had to make a change in his life yeah and so th there were like there were like two different stories um happening in it and it just really really like struck home for a lot of people and then when we got the notification that um it was being nominated you know, within the BET, um, you know, for most mm. inspirational um, video by independent artists, I, I was floored. I was super floored and I, I was so excited and I was glad that people really took, you know, to the song. And it, it's 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 a genuine it's a genuine piece for me. Um, I mean, um, no matter how old it gets, I think it's a timeless classic. And that's all I really, really wanted to make. I mean, trust me, I've, I've made a lot of tracks. And I'm like, oh, I don't ever want to hear that again. But <laughs> 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 but it is important to me to make songs that are timeless um, because like th those songs just last forever and you could, you can go back to tracks like that and listen to it in 2020 and say like, man, this song could work today. Like, yeah, and that good. to me is when you realize that you're, you're tapping into your, your artistry and you are pouring your heart out for things that matter because love doesn't die there are so many things like elements that we continuously live with. Technology is going to change every day, but there are the core elements that just doesn't change. I don't care if this is 2085, there's still core elements that are going to be with us until life itself is no more. And if you connect to those core elements, you will be timeless in anything you create. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad you won that award, man. That's a great experience. Thanks, man. You Thanks. Know, I should, appreciate it. I can thank tell you, you should thank definitely you. be proud of that when you certainly earned it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, you know, from going to a video that inspires to uh -huh. quite literally inspiring and sharing uh, with younger people. Yes. I know you spent some time uh, with some kids, uh, some teenagers, mm -hmm, and just mm -hmm. giving and giving and giving. There's mm -hmm. a fantastic organization called Community Miracles in Action. Yes. And um, do you want to speak about that and talk about, uh, you know, how, how you got involved in that and why that's important? Yeah. Um, so I, um, you know, decided to do some volunteering. Um, and I, of course, was really, really interested in creating um, something that would 
you know, attract young teens and teaching them how to, you know, create music, understand music and utilize music um, for the better. And when I when I um, was introduced to being in Cohoes, um, New York, um, you know, the the program that was designed was called Louder Dreams. And that was uh, kind of a signature that I thought was like really important to just put because we all have dreams. Um, yep. We all aspire to, to, to be something. Um, and even if we don't necessarily feel that we have dreams, like it's in there. And sometimes it just takes for someone to just hit the switch for it to come out. Mm. And the reason I called it louder dreams is because, you know, your dreams need to be heard. Um, don't keep them to yourself. Um, you know, they say never stop dreaming, but sometimes you shouldn't stop sharing your dreams. Right. You shouldn't stop voicing your dreams. Yeah. And 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 the thing is, is that, you know, we have too many children, too many teens that have aspirations, but they're not sharing them. And and they're yeah. and they're too caught up in 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 this um, cyber world that literally is all about sharing, but they're not talking about what they want to be. They they just talk about so many other things. Well, you um, know, so, studies have shown unequivocally that if you tell somebody about something you're going to do, you're much mm -hmm. more likely to follow through and actually take action. Yeah. So if you're talking about your dreams, right? Mm -hmm. Tell tell people. Yeah. Write them down. I mean, yeah. so that that as a concept is just brilliant, especially yeah. for younger people who, you know, aren't thinking about that and maybe have exactly. reason to, you know, exactly. uh, uh, frighten. And, yeah. And and the slogan is if they can't hear you, dream louder. Good. You know? So, you know, because you're you you're gonna get you're gonna get the setbacks. You you're gonna get pushback on things that you want, and there are people who won't be listening. But it doesn't mean you cannot be heard because you can be as loud as you can be on what you want to do, and that just gives them the the energy and the, the 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 I would say the desire to just not give up. And it was it it just became you know so immense. You know that the, they were creating, they were making songs that I. Still to this day, I mean, I'm 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 floored. <laughs> you yeah, know, like, great. um, yeah. I mean, yeah, yes, I helped them create it, but still, to to you know, to the multitude that these kids were not even speaking to each other or barely speaking in class, and now they're they're making songs where people are hearing their talents, and and it just gave them just such a a a, a, a you know a boost of confidence in themselves. And and now to see where we are, and and in a in a completely changing world, that I'm watching them, you know, on online, and they're still at it. They're yeah. they're, they're, they're they're still writing to me the ideas that they have. They're, they're asking me for my feedback. They're they're recording little clips, and 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 they're writing on their own now. They're, they're, it, I'm not even helping with the writing. I'm mm. I'm basically just helping you know, with my feedback, yeah. you know, on their own writing, like, like they are constructing their own melodies. Like I, I, th I just, I think it's great. And I'm, I'm really excited. I think more programs like that need to, you know, flourish. Um, I would, you know, I, I've been saying to myself that I, I would love to create, uh, more of that, you know, just across the nation, um, really giving kids just the opportunity to just, you know, keep creating. And there are musical programs, but like they just, they, we need more. We need a lot more because Absolutely, yeah. um, in these undeveloped communities, like it, you know, they should not be, I would say compartmentalized and just being victims of wrongdoings and crime. Like there needs to be more programs that is putting them to another level of just creating like hit type music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not just programs, but people like yourself to, you know, give them the opportunity and give them the confidence and give them the time of day, mm -hmm. you know? And so, yeah, I, I mean, I love to hear about this program and, and, um, uh, just the, 
to, to, to meet you and to see you just giving freely of your time to them and to mm-hmm. see the mm-hmm. response. I mean, like you mm-hmm. said, I mean, I've heard the stories. I mean, some of them, you know, doing really poorly in school, not speaking, mm-hmm. violent, mm-hmm. and not so any longer, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And that's yeah. really just it's because awesome. they've got some people that are in their corner and have their back and yes. are allowing them an outlet that is positive, you know? Yes. And it's, you, you talked yes. about change in your video. If you're going to be that change, I mean, you're showing them, you're not just like telling you're literally just showing, yeah. you know, you're walking the walk. And that's so important yeah. for younger people to see that, like, actually in front of their face from yes. someone who's yes. actually going to give back and talk to them and not at them, you know, all those things. So it you're just right. puts a smile on my face and, and just makes me feel great just to hear those stories. So I'm yeah, glad you too, did that. Man. Thank you for doing that, um, you know. Uh, I hope that other people hear this and, you know, maybe it encourages yeah. them to, to do the same in their neighborhoods and, and or with anyone, you know, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take a program to, to take someone who's interested mm-hmm. and just get a little bit out of them or someone who is yeah. seemingly, you know, frightened or, you know, not talking about their dreams, not, you know, it's tough being a kid, you know, yeah. to, to not have anybody uh. else on your side too, that makes it even tougher. So highly encourage everybody who's watching and listening you know, mm-hmm. take a look around you. If there's someone who is interested in what you do, you know, but seems afraid to, to approach you, man, you could make a friend for life. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, just give mm-hmm. them the time of mm-hmm. day. So yep. I highly encourage yep. you. But man, Theory, thanks so much for coming on. You know, I always enjoy talking with you. You're always so generous mm-hmm. with your time. Same here, man. Same here. Uh, that's it. You know, you guys, if you liked what you heard, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please try and uh, uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, ring the bell. It supports and helps us continue to provide this kind of content. It really goes yes. a long way. Yes, do uh, that, people. Do also, that. Also, yeah, <laughs> don't forget your free gift, adamclaremont.com slash workflow. Lastly, you can check out uh, Theory on Instagram. Hit him up. Theory is everything. You can look mm-hmm. the description below. I'll add that there. And also check out the new record, Bed Full of Roses or Pool Full of Blood, available on all streaming platforms. Thanks yeah, again, man. Theory. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right. Thanks. Thanks.